All right. So the first thing, of course, that we need to do is change directory and get into our mini uh, team win recovery project directory. Uh, now, of course, at the beginning of this uh, series, I had showed how I did uh, build successfully for the Shamu, so I made sure that this uh, mini twerp was working, which is really important to do. Otherwise, you might be wondering, well, is it is it my mini twerp set up, or is it the device tree, or something like that? So we know that uh, that it builds successfully for another device. So of course, we're going to run our uh, build environment setup shell, and I have tons of tutorials about how to um, do this for other, you know, building team win recovery projects, and we're kind of focused on the more advanced section right now of uh, of building the device tree for for team win recovery project but if you need help with doing some of the basics of just building team win recovery project for any random device or some ex explanation of what's going on here please check out my other video series uh, I have playlists specifically for just building team win recovery project and a lot of good information there so we've run our uh, setup we're all ready to go so what we want to do is say lunch and we're going to say Omni Life XL, and we're going to do Engineering Build. And it says I don't have the product spec that I need to do that, which means that uh, that there's something missing. Um, now it says trying to fit to fetch a device that's already there. Omni dependencies file not found, and then it says. Uh, product brand must be defined. So it wants me specifically to define the product brand. And if I don't do that, it can't continue. So first error that we ran into right out of the gate, product brand must be defined. So let's open up in the device the Moto the Shamu, which did build. And let's take a look here. Wasn't in there. See if it's in here. Nope. Open. Oops. Cancel. Open. And what we're looking for is uh, the product brand for the the um, Shamu. And you notice the product brand here is actually Android, which is which is pretty easy going right there. So we'll just take that and we're going to open up our Omni Life XL and we'll just put it right here, Android. Okay, product brand is Android. Let's see if that works. And there we go. So now it is accepted that this is ready uh, to be built. So we're going to, uh, you know, take that deep breath and uh, see what happens when we type MKA recovery image. So we're not making all of Android, we're just making this recovery image. We're going to hit that uh, enter button and we're going to see what happens. So we'll, uh, we'll wait with bated breath. So far so good. It is uh, setting everything up. It is going through and including everything. If you want a description of what's going on here, I have several in a lot of the other videos that I do um, where I talk about what all of that means and what uh, what the happens while that's working in progress so be sure to check those out and uh, and we've run into another problem right here because something stopped so let's see what that is now anytime you have an error or a problem you're looking for the words error or failed or um, something like that so notice that It says no rule to make target home Alaska Linux user min team win recovery project omni out target product life XL object static libraries limit lib init life XL intermediates export includes needed by init intermediates import includes so it's saying that the init um, file that we looked at and made didn't export something that uh, could be used or utilized and why is that if we back up a little bit here see if we have any other error or something helping us uh, out with that And I 
don't see anything for that specifically. Let's see. Make sure our module wasn't declaring that something be built here. Mm. Let's see. Well, I don't see specifically what the problem is here, so we're going to make this simple by actually just taking this init out for now. And we'll see what happens when we do that. Now, uh, it's up to you, but I recommend running uh, make clean and then doing your build again when you run into a problem. This type of build doesn't take very long, so I wouldn't be too worried about uh, you know the amount of time that you're saving by running make clean. So we'll just give this a minute here. And it failed again. No rule to make target device blue life XL router etc fs tab.com needed by recovery root.ts. So let's take a look here. It says blue life XL rooter etc fs tab.com and ours is in here. Okay, so we forgot, we either improperly declared or we forgot our FS tab. So let's see, FS tab. Okay, so target recovery FS tab, device path root dir etc FS tab dot qcom, which is not there. We actually have it here in recovery root etc team win recovery project uh, FS tab which we could use that um, or let's see we don't need these things here we're just kind of cluttering up so we'll move those out of the way so we could we have two choices we can either use this FS tab that we have here and change the path of declaration for it Right, target recovery FS tab, um, which I think would be a good way to go. Uh, another option is, remember in our share we had copied a bunch of things, including the FS tab dot text. So we could take this and actually save it um, and utilize that as well. Um, so really, it's it's up to you which way you want to go. Um, you know, our other one has a lot more information on it, but this would work quite well also. Um, you know, uh, whichever whichever you think would work better for you. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, the way of using the FS tab itself. We could just copy this. We would go to Blue Life Excel. Uh, it says it is supposed to be in rooter so we would make a new folder and say rooter and then we would say new folder etc and then we would paste that and we would change the name of it to qcom and that's if you had saved it before um, if not you could uh, you could even um, go back and uh, you know just specify the path going to the recovery one that we have which would be really good I think because it's for recovery FS tabs so using the team win recovery project version would probably be the best way to go but uh, I just wanted to show you how we could do it both ways and so we'll run that nope I forgot to run make clean I'll just go ahead and make clean and we'll run this again.
You don't have to run make clean, but I just find it to be very, very useful. So we'll see what error pops up next.